Hi you guys, welcome to today's video. I figured out come on here and record me taking down my hair because I haven't done a hair video in a while, at least of my natural hair. And so I do want to keep putting those out there because some of you follow me because of my hair, some of you follow me because of my content with my husband, or some of you follow me because of my baby content. So I just wanted to share how I take down my hair. Somebody's like looking in someone's trash can or I don't know, weird. Oh, they're taking their trash can up for them because they're a town. That's nice. But, um, so I do have a video about how I do my hair like this. So I'll link that below if you want to see the actual installation process. But we're going to just take these down because it's been an overnight. And, you know, it's time to get our hair unraveled. <laughs> is I can do my hair today, take it down, and then it will last me for a long time. Now, it may not look exactly how it does when I take it down today, but it's still, it's still wearable. Like, it doesn't look old and natty and like I need to do my hair over. So, the last time I did my hair like this, well, the last couple times I did my hair like this, I would wear it for like two weeks. Um, and the curls were still there, they just fell a whole, whole lot. So, that's why, um, that's why I like this hairstyle because I don't have to roll it back up at night and I don't have to worry about my hair. All I do is pineapple it at night and then in the morning, I just take it down. I just take the pineapple down and like literally shake my head, fluff it out with my hands a little bit and we're good to go. So easy low maintenance hairstyles are my friend, especially being a new mom having a little baby who needs my time and attention. Um, you know, like I still want to maintain my hair. I definitely don't want to neglect it by any means, but just being able to have it in a hairstyle that I don't have to worry about curling it every night. You know, like I used to have time for that. I remember for the longest, like every night, like I would roll my hair up every night. Like it was just a normal part of like hairstyling. And now if I think about that when I decide how I'm gonna do my hair, like what's gonna last me the longest, you know? <laughs> you know, like when you're, when you don't get um, your eight to 10 hours of sleep, like you think about those things. <laughs> what is going to delay me going to sleep? And normally it's my hair, so yeah. So this is how it looks. I'm hot, I'm gonna turn the fan on. So this is how it looks. Um, now just taking out my little flexi rods. Now I'm going to just pull them apart some. Um, it's kind of humid outside, so I don't think I'm gonna separate them a whole lot because I literally have to just run to one place and come back home. So no point in like going all out to run this errand. So I may just separate enough to where it looks like my hair is done and then come back and show you how it looks when it's actually like fully separated um, later on. But like just separating it one time has already made such a difference in it. Like, look at this. As far as products go, 
I use literally like the same hair products. If it's one thing that I don't change <laughs> often anyways, it's my hair products. I literally, I find something that works and I stick with that. Um, shampoos, I use the same, the same shampoos I've been using for years. I may try, when's the last time I tried a new shampoo? I honestly couldn't tell you. I may go back to using something that I haven't used in a while, like recently. I started using the, um, I think it's called the Organic Slime. Um, I started back using that because I needed something like a good washing shampoo. I personally don't believe in co-washing. <laughs> I know, controversial opinion, but I personally don't believe in co-washing. Um, it literally does not clean your scalp. And especially as someone who, like, I don't wear my hair in its natural state from week to week. Um, so, it, does, it doesn't make sense to co-wash with um, conditioner. Like, I don't know who came up with that, but personally, it, just, it doesn't clean your scalp. Like, it does not, so. <laughs> it may be good as far as like re-moisturizing your hair for like maintenance or something, but, you know, hey, to each his own. Looking for, so I wanted another, um, what am I saying? I want another shampoo. I needed to incorporate a shampoo for like cleansing and I needed something that wasn't like an all natural thing. I've said this before, like all natural shampoos, like this stuff is like really soft and healthy for your hair. I mean, I like them, but I mean, I like stuff that I know my hair is gonna get squeaky clean, like and those typically aren't all natural shampoos for me. I'm sure there's some out there. I haven't tried a whole bunch, um, but then again, like I said, I don't really go searching for a whole lot of hair products because I'm used to what I'm used to and they work. And I've tried a lot of different things over the years. I've been doing my hair for the longest and I've tried so many. I know there are always new things coming out. So I might be missing out on some good stuff, but for right now, I'm good with my staples um, and I'll list those below. If you're curious about what I use, but I'll mention like my staples that I go to like Nexus. I love Nexus shampoos. Um, some of them have protein in it, so I like the ones with protein, but um, yeah, this looks really good and I only separated it a little. I think this is all I'm going to separate it actually. So, I'll show you the back. I miss but I think I'm gonna just leave it like this for now because I don't want the humidity to kill my hair because one thing about blowout style so the way I did this um if you don't feel like watching that other video I'll just explain <laughs> but I blow dry my hair and then I use my curling wand to curl my hair and then I rolled it up with the flexi rods so i actually don't didn't use a curling wand it's like a really skinny curling iron probably like this big and i use that as a curling wand um and so i also use my flat iron to like straighten my root before um rolling the curling wand just because i have a thing like i like my roots i like to be able to feel my scalp and so I know you don't have to, I know it's not important, I know it's not a necessity, but I like to like straighten my roots a little bit uh, before curling it with the curling iron. So, this is what we got. And yeah, it'll last me. So, but one thing I was trying to say is like the blowout hairstyle, it's more sensitive. Like this one, I think I'm gonna fix this one. That one's kind of weird. I don't know what happened to him. 
I'm gonna have to roll that on back up tonight to fix it. But there you go, go back in there, go back. Okay, one thing I was saying is block stops don't last as long or they're more delicate. Like they last, but they're more delicate than like a wet set. And so that's why I was saying like the humidity may like kill it a little bit, especially being so fresh. But anyway, so I just wanted to share my hair with you guys. Let me know what you think. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.